<laughs> hey guys, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be watching Hotel Transylvania with you today. I am just in the mood for some good, lighthearted, animated fun. Oh, that's really weird. Cameron is calling me right, hold on a second. Cameron, hi, what's up? Yeah, I'm, I'm in the middle of filming a video right now. What do you mean we're watching Hotel Transylvania today? What, what are we watching? We're watching Hereditary? Oh dear God. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and a welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a movie that has been requested a fair amount, especially every nightmare season. Hereditary has been on my list for quite a while and I've only put it in a couple polls every nightmare season. I've kind of tried to bury it a little bit, but it has been suggested and requested often enough that I have included it in the odd poll. And unfortunately for me today, it is one. I am scared for this movie. I, I am really concerned that it is going to leave me not okay. Mostly, I feel this way because of a lot of the comments that I'm seeing over on my Patreon page. There are quite a lot of people who are really concerned and don't think that I can handle this movie. And also a lot of people who are saying that they couldn't handle it and they watched it and they like horror and they're still messed up from it. So that is not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Um, I really am not overhyping how scared I am <laughs> right now. I'm, I've been procrastinating. It is currently 4 p.m. at the time of me filming this. I've been ready to film since two and I've just been doing nothing around the house because I don't want to film. But I also am scared because by the time I'm done filming today, it will probably be dark out and that is a special kind of nightmare. So I'm trying to film while there's still some light outside. Not like it's gonna matter that much probably because I'm a little, I'm a big baby. I'm also really nervous because for those of y'all who watch Stranger Things with me, who watched, you know, at least season one with me, y'all may know that um, I injured myself with this desk in that video from a jump scare. Yeah, the lights go out. All uh, right. Ah! Ow! F I banged my knee! And I actually have ordered a new desk. It's here, but I haven't had the time to set it up with the wedding and with all the traveling that we've been doing. I just have not had the time to set up that desk yet and also sell this one. I still have this desk that injured me months ago and it still has a big metal bar underneath it and I'm... I'm not only scared for my mental well-being today, but also my physical well-being. A lot of folks have suggested Midsommar along with this movie. I've actually seen Midsommar. And so for a minute there, I was like, wow, maybe I can handle this movie. But pretty much everybody that I've talked to has uh, said that this one is way scarier. So, um, and Midsommar did mess me up. So <laughs> it's not it's not looking good for me today. I do love Toni Collette. I really do love her. I used to watch United States of Terra all the time back in the day. I think she's a brilliant actress, super talented. So that is the one positive thing I'm looking for out of this movie. It's the one little glimmer of hope that I'm holding on to that I will that I will get some reward and enjoyment from her performance, but that is pretty much all I can say that I'm looking forward to about this movie. I hope I like it. I can't imagine that I will, but <laughs> here we are and we're gonna do it. And I hope you guys like this video. If you like scary movies and you know, you're know you checking this video out, maybe, maybe consider giving this video a thumbs up because this is taking a lot out of me to do this kind of content. I am really scared right now. So I would really appreciate the support if you don't mind. But this movie is not the only thing that I'm scared of today. You wanna know what else I'm scared of right now? Inflation. Which brings me to the sponsor of today's video, which is Upside. <laughs> Lately, prices have skyrocketed so much that I've been looking at ways to cut down on my spending. Whether it's less road trips, less date nights out at our favorite restaurant, or just buying less at the grocery store, 
we can all agree there's nothing fun about less. But now, thanks to Upside, I don't have to cut back because Upside gets me cash back on gas, groceries, and dining out. Anyone who knows me knows that I love dining out, especially at my local favorite Thai restaurants. I was super sad at the thought of having to give up my weekly pad thai treat just to save some money, but now I don't have to because Upside gets me 6% cash back on that too. Also, Upside can earn you three times more cash back in comparison to credit card rewards or loyalty programs. It's so easy. Just claim an offer for whatever you're buying, check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card, and get paid. Plus, you can cash out anytime at your bank account, PayPal, or even an e-gift card for Amazon and other brands. It's so clear to see why Upside has a 4.8 star review on the App Store. There's literally no downside to trying it out for yourself. So download the free Upside app at upside.app.link slash natgold for up to $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Thank you so much again to Upside for sponsoring this video, and thank you guys as always for listening to the sponsor. Now, without any further ado, I think it's time to hop on into this movie. So um, yeah, that's all the procrastinating that I really have. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Yay! Ellen Taper Lee, 78, passed away from a prolonged illness at her daughter Annie's house April 3rd, 2018. Beloved wife of the late Martin Lee, devoted mother of Annie Lee Graham, and the late Charles Lee, cherished grandmother Peter Graham and Charlie Graham. She also is a survivor of her son-in-law, Stephen Graham. She will be missed. Reposting at Kingston Funeral Home Friday, 10 to 12. Funeral service will be held Saturday, 10 a.m. Burial will take place at Spring Blossom Cemetery. <sighs> okay, an obit. Got it. Oh, is this like the grandmother's house? Is this like her arts and crafts room. Oh, did she like building doll houses? That's totally great and not creepy at all. <laughs> what is going on with the sound design? Oh, I'm really not happy with this choice of movie today. <laughs> God, I'm already scared. Oh, is this just gonna be like the sun or one of the characters? Oh my God, that's- Come on, Peter, wake up. Oh, they're getting up for the funeral. There's a little tree house from the beginning. Oh, hi, Tony. I wonder if it's her mother. My mother was a very secretive and private woman. She had private rituals, oh. private friends, private anxieties. Oh, uh, what, a, what a lively and heartwarming eulogy thus far. She could be the sweetest, warmest. Oh, same necklace. What? What's that guy smiling at her for? Yeah, they're wearing the same necklace. And if she ever was mistaken. Is that Charlie? Oh, does she have a vocal tick? Does she have like Tourette's? That'd be like an interesting choice for a character. There aren't nuts in that either. No. Oh, is she allergic to nuts? Does that have nuts? Because we don't have the EpiPen. Mm -hmm. Oh, goody. A little exposition of something that's gonna happen. She's got a deadly nut allergy. She'll probably get sick from it later. You know, if there wasn't a about to be a bunch of tip. Why is there a dollhouse down here too? What is with all the dollhouses? Jesus. I was gonna say if this wasn't about to be a horror film, I'd say this is an adorable house. I really, really like it. Guys, please tell me nothing happens to the dog. I don't think I can take another horror movie with the dog dying. Oh, that's why there's so many dollhouses. She likes designing dollhouses, which honestly like isn't a creepy hobby, but just in this setting, it's very disturbing. Even when you're a little baby, she wouldn't let me feed you because she needed to feed you. She wanted me to be a boy. Oh. Who's gonna take care of me? <laughs> um. What? But when you die. Oh. Oh, honey. Dad will take care of you. It also won't be for a really, really, really long time. God, I, I'm so, what's gonna happen to this family? Come on now. Satany. Huh? That's probably gonna come back around. What does that mean? Oh, uh, are we gonna look at mom's? things. What's in that book? Spiritualism. Notes on spiritualism. Okay. My darling, dear, beautiful Annie, forgive me for all the things I could not tell you. Please don't hate me and try not to despair your losses. You will see in the end that they were worth it. Our sacrifice will pale next to the rewards. Love mommy. In the end, it will be worth it. Our sacrifices will pale. No! No! Ha <laughs> ha! No, it's too early! 
No, it's gonna be a jump scare. No, no. I can't look. I can't look, you guys. I can't. Oh, the dolls moved. They moved, didn't they? Me. Oh, oh. Oh, that's what she meant when she said she wouldn't let me feed you. She had to feed you. That's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, this family's up. Oh no, this is, guys, I'm like 10 minutes in. This is a problem. I saw that bird falling out of the sky and I thought, oh, you know, it's just a bird in the background, but no, then it hit the window. Why doesn't she look stunned? Oh, is she gonna grab scissors? Oh, there's the bird. And she's, there she is again, just eating chocolate in front of the bird. Girl, what the heck? Is she gonna take the bird? No, little girl. What the f is wrong with this girl? She's beheading the bird. Bring your d Great, thanks, dude. I'm so, uh, did I just see, was that an optical illusion or did I just see somebody breathe smoke back? That, maybe that was an optical illusion. I don't know. Honey, what the f was that? Oh no, is it gonna be grandma? It's grandma, huh? What is happening? Little orbs, little orbs of light. Grandma, you really can't just die. You gotta bother your family in life and in death. Do you think I could maybe borrow one of the cars today? Why? Where are you going? Oh, just like a school barbecue thing. At night. You gonna take your sister? No. Uh, does she wanna go? You should not bring your sister. You should not bring her. Oh God, what's it gonna be? Grandma? Grandma sitting in a field on fire. I don't like this movie. Now this really means no drink. Uh-oh. Yeah, I really wasn't going to. Yeah, he was. Now he's pissed. He, he's a good little actor, though. He keeps it cool. I don't like the fact... The choice to have her have, you know, have a tick didn't bother me, except now we're like, oh, there's the symbol that's on their necklace. Now it seems like we're insinuating that she's crazy and grandma messed her up and she's seeing her grandma everywhere and beheading birds. I'm like, I don't... Now I don't like the fact that, like, the tick is playing into that, you know? Unless it means something else. Maybe it's not a tick and she's clicking her mouth for another reason. Is this how we chop walnuts? <laughs> oh, nuts! Oh, he's not gonna be a good brother. She's gonna have an allergic reaction to the nuts. Oh no. They're giving out chocolate cake. Not to everyone. There's walnuts in it! No! But hurry up, they're gonna run out. Come on, Charlie. Bad brother, bad brother. There's walnuts completely all in the cake. Yup. No EpiPen, huh? Yep. Are you okay? Nope. It's hard to breathe. Yeah. Oh God, now he's panicking. Yep, you were, yeah, yeah. That's a really scary moment as a brother. Like, F I fucked up, my sister might die. Like, oh God. Damn, we really live out here in the, in the, in the middle of nowhere, huh? We really live way out in the country. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. He's going real fast and she's not buckled in and I'm worried about her. No, 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 oh no, oh no, I don't want to see it, oh no. He can't look either, he can't look either. Ah! Ah! Is he just gonna keep driving? Huh? This is like, oh, this is, oh, this is so bad. This is starting to have some parallels, like she cut the bird's head off. Big brother, you gotta go talk to your parents. Is he not going to? Oh my God, is he just, don't do anything stupid, big brother, please. Is that his bedroom? No. Big brother, go talk to your pa- Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God! Oh, this is awful. This is so bad. Oh no. Is it her car? Yeah, it's her car. And he didn't tell them. Now she's seen it, yeah. Oh, this is so bad. 
Oh, I can't, I can't watch this. This is awful. Oh my God. Damn, I didn't think the girl was gonna die. I thought, oh, I take back everything I said about having her tick because this movie didn't go how I thought it was gonna go. It went so much darker, so much faster. Oh no. What's going on with the, oh, to, oh. Is she sleeping? Is Tony Collette sleeping in the treehouse to feel closer to her daughter? Oh God, I don't want to cry anymore. <laughs> <sighs> oh, here, grief. Jesus Christ. Oh, she's, oh, oh no, she's leaving. She's like, it's too much. I can't even share it with these people. Why do I feel like there's gonna be a jump scare when she starts driving? Yep. Oh no, it's just a woman. Okay. Oh no. I'm so sorry to chase you down. Sorry, I just, I recognize you from a few months ago. I'm Joan. I, I, are you doing better? No. My son and my grandson drowned four months ago. Oh, God. The little one was seven. Jesus Christ, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I am not okay. If you need someone to talk to. Joan, you're very kind for doing this. I don't think you want to get involved in this family. They've been through some <sighs> man. I'll be right back. No, you won't. You're taking the blanket. It's, it's kind of interesting the metaphors I'm already seeing with like her having to go out and sleep in this miniature house to feel any kind of relief and fall asleep. And she spends all this time building doll houses. It's like the tree house is like a version of that. Oh God, what? I don't want to, oh God, the tongue click? Was that what it was? F no, 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 no thank you. No thank you. Ah! No! survive this movie man i'm not even halfway done messages from the other side F you F you mail delivery person joan joni oh annie you came oh okay joan please be like normal and nice and please have nothing bad happen to you i really just need like a positive presence in this movie i really that's an unsettling choice to put a mirror there set design you didn't have to do that okay i sleepwalk I don't want to see that in this movie either, ma'am. Please don't. You haven't done it in years. I bet you're going to. I woke up and they were completely covered in paint thinner. You covered them in paint thinner? And I was standing there with a box of matches and an empty can of paint thinner. Oh, Jesus Christ. And I woke myself up striking the match, which also woke Peter up and he started to scream. Oh, that's, yeah. The timing was awful. Peter and I had gotten into this stupid quarreling phase, just forever arguing. Stupid quarreling, yeah, yeah. This family needs so much therapy and help. Like, I, she's bottling up so much emotion and like this feels like the first time she's like letting it out. But ma'am, you need therapy, like serious therapy. There's nothing wrong with that. This definitely feels like a movie about like mental health, like hereditary, like a lot of it's, you inherit a lot of that stuff from your family. And a lot of times families bottle it up and repress it. I said, I know you're going through a lot, Peter, but like, you gotta learn how to hold a knife and fork, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, you're in high school, bro, come on. You okay, Mom? Uh-oh, oh, oh God. Is there something on your mind? Is there something on your mind? Guys, oh, we're all like a family that can't talk to each other. Just say it, just say it. Don't you swear at me, you little Don't you ever! Raise your voice at me. I am your mother. I wish I could shield you from the knowledge that you did what you did, but your sister is dead. She is gone forever. If you could have just said, I'm sorry, or faced up to what happened, maybe, Pam, we could do something with this, but you can't take responsibility for anything. Oh my God, of course he feels horrible for it. That's why he hasn't said he's sorry, because he can't process it. Oh my God. Because nobody admits anything they did. Oh my God, Tony Collette's doing a great job. I'm so scared of her and sad at the same time. <laughs> what the heck? She just sits back down. <laughs> oh, Annie. Hi. I'm sorry, Joan. This is a bit too much of a coincidence. I don't like kawinky dinks in horror films. Something happened, Annie. What, what happened? I don't even know if I should say. What do you mean? <laughs> uh-huh. I met. Oh, the seance, the seance thing. 
She conjured my grandson. Oh, fun. I wouldn't believe it either. I didn't believe it. But I heard his voice. Oh, that's horrific. I don't want that. I don't want that. Don't do it, Annie. Don't do it. This is real. N yep, sure. I believe that it's real. And I don't want to do it. Oh, no. Annie, no, please don't. Please, please don't. She's going to. We have an hour left of the movie. Nice mood setter. Oh, God. We're just, we're just doing it for fun at home. We, oh, God. We should call in the professional. I'm going to put my hand on the glass, but I'm not going to add pressure. Oh, God. Oh, like a Ouija? Has, have any of you gone over to a friend's house and they have a Ouija board and they're like, do you want to do the Ouija together for fun? I'm like, no, I don't want to bring that shit home with me. You f off. F off with your stupid Ouija board. If you're here. Oh! Hi, Louie. How did you do that? She didn't. I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, sweetie? No, let's not ask questions. How about you just do this alone? Oh my God. It's okay. It's okay. I don't like this. I don't like this. Can you write something? <laughs> no! I don't want Louis to write anything! Oh, oh, he's starting with an H. Oh no, he's writing I love, right? I love you. I love you, Grandma. Louis, <clears throat> we're gonna stop for a second, but I'll be right back. You're not supposed to like, you gotta close the seance. It's not good to like abruptly end that First, light the candle. No. Then choose an item that belonged to your daughter. No. Joan, you're very sweet, but your grandson was probably a lot less tormented than her family, okay? I don't know what language it is. Oh, great. We don't know the language. It's a mysterious language. It almost feels like it's tying into those weird words that were written and carved into the walls in her house. That, like, I don't know what they were, you know? You didn't kill her, Annie. What? Is that her mother's voice? She isn't gone. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! <laughs> no! Oh, you know, I take everything I said back. Her having the tick is actually really, it's a useful tool. I just, I think I just prejudged it because I thought, I thought she was going to be alive the whole movie, quite frankly. And, you know, it was going to take like the path of the exorcist or something, but then it didn't. So now I think having the tick is, is a great tool because this probably would happen. If your daughter had a tick like this, you probably would think you were hearing it all the time, you know, like a sense memory just plaguing you. Ants. Are there ants everywhere? Oh no, that's a special nightmare. Oh no, I don't want to see it, please. No. Oh, they're leading outside. Oh, let's, let's just not, let's not. Let's just go back to bed. I'm sure they're not real. Oh, this is really gonna mess me up, guys. Cause I don't know, I, I have a real fear of like any insects or bugs. And I've had nightmares where I wake up and think spiders are crawling on me or ants or bugs or whatever. And I don't need this. I don't need this. Oh no, it's gonna be your daughter. I don't wanna see it. I really don't need to see it again. Man, this director is, he really likes gruesome, jarring, Scenes, is that her son? She's seeing them on her son? Is she sleepwalking? She can't scream? Mom, what are you doing? Oh my God, she was sleepwalking. She was sleepwalking, yeah. I never wanted to be your mother. Oh, what? What? But she pressured me. Oh, f Jesus. You have me. It wasn't my fault, I tried to stop it. Oh my God. Oh my God, these are the things you never ever say to your child. I Why love did you try you. to kill me? I did, I was trying to Why save you. Why did you try to kill me? What's happening? Why are they on, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, it was like they were dripping in the paint thinner at the end. Oh, that was a f up dream. Is she doing the candle thing, Annie? Annie, why? I don't, oh God. Peter. Oh God. She waking Peter up to do it too? Peter, oh God, she's... Oh, it's okay, we can do something. Do it. A seance. Hey, Peter, I know you got school in the morning and you're dealing with trauma, massive amounts of trauma, and I am too, and I know we didn't go to therapy for any of that yet, but let's just have a seance. Isn't that fun? Please, trust me. I don't think this is a good idea at all. Because you know what's going to happen? You're going to open the portal. You're going to let your grandma or your mom and uh, your child in. You're gonna let them into the room 
and then you're not gonna close it properly, and then they're just gonna be there all the time. Please, I need you to be open. Here's the thing, like, I'm open to it. That's why I don't wanna do it. Like, if I was in this family, I'd be like, I totally believe you, and I don't want it. I'm scared. Charlie? Uh. Charlie, are you here? Uh. Uh. Wow! Yes! Thank you, Charlie, that was so good! Now, Charlie, what I'd like for you to do Oh God, she's already like on to the next stage. And meanwhile, Peter and <laughs> Steve are like <laughs> Charlie, what's wrong? Um, she's probably mad at Big Brother. Oh God, he's looking under the table like she did. Annie, Annie's growling. Why is Annie growling? Oh no, is it Charlie? Hello? Mom? 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 I don't like this. What the hell? <laughs> what are you doing? The dog, I love that the dog is just in another room somewhere barking. Like the dog is also not happy and the dog is not even in the room. But it adds a nice. Sorry, I couldn't figure out if it was actually their dog or my dog, but no, it says it in the closed captions. It's their dog. It's a nice um touch of chaos. <laughs> How much of the movie is left? Well, like 40 minutes? Great, I hate my life. Oh God, is that, is that Peter? With X's in his eyes? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, she's gonna burn it, she's gonna burn it, yeah. Oh no, you gotta close the seance properly, girl, yeah. You messed up, you done messed up now. Cause you're not a medium, you're an amateur. Holy is it because she feels like she's burning watching the book burn? Or is she, oh. It's like a metaphor for like feeling the pain of burn, like trying to get rid of that. Maybe it's not, maybe it's just fucked up. I don't know. I just really think Peter and his dad should move out. Was that Charlie's room? Can we not, can we not, can we not? Can we close the door and just pretend like it was closed the whole time and just not go in there? Ah! Oh no. Oh no, she's watching her son. Oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Are we going to Jones now? Yeah, you got us into this mess, Joan. F you. Oh, Joan has really gotten into the whole seance thing, leaving the lights off and candles on. Joan, are you okay? That's a photo of Peter. Oh no, oh no. That's like artwork that her daughter, artwork that her daughter made with animal heads. What's going on, Joni? What is happening? Oh, is she, oh, is it like your mother reborn or something? Oh no. Did her mother worship the devil or some shit? Oh God, oh God, oh God. Yeah, let's let's look at the spiritualism again. Oh, that logo, yeah, what does that mean? King Paimon, god of mischief, when successfully invoked, he will possess the most vulnerable host, only then the ritual is complete. I couldn't read it fast enough. Is a male thus covetous of a male body? So Peter, that's why grandma was disappointed when Charlie was a girl, huh? Is that Joan? Is that Joan? That's Joan. Yeah, and you fell for it. You fell for it, hook, line, and sinker, ma'am. You really should have cut your mother out and kept her cut out of your life. You shouldn't have even had a funeral for her. Should have just left her to the state. The status of the insurance claims to stand by Ellen Lee's grave. Oh, God. I needed a just, I needed another second. It's hard to read things out loud and look at the same time at the images. I saw some of the images, but, so it looks like an excavation happened at her gravesite. Oh, come on, no. Why do we gotta go in the attic? Why? I don't wanna go in there. Oh, a body. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Oh God, please, no! No! Is it gonna, it's gonna sit up, is it? It's grandma, huh? It's grandma's body in their attic. It's headless. Why are they always headless? Is it Charlie's body? I would assume it's grandma because she was excavated from the site, right? Yep, there's a sign. There's a seance secretly being held in their attic. I don't know who snuck in and set this up. Was it Joan? I don't know how the f she did that. Oh, the tongue clicking. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh no, Peter. Huh? What's happening to his arm? Oh no. He can't breathe. He's dying. <laughs> you dude filming on your phone. F you. God, that, that was your first instinct, you piece of sh Did you see up there? This was painted above the body, right? In blood. 
You dug up the grave. No, it wasn't. It was you, wasn't it? No, oh no. No, it wasn't her, but I... I tried to burn it, I tried, but my arm caught on fire on its own as if I was linked to it. He's not listening to anything. He just, he's just like, what the f is going on with my wife? Well, who is this woman that I married? He's in disbelief. Please, throw it in the fire. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Is she gonna die like this? Is this how it's gonna end? I love you, Steve. I love you so, so much. Oh God, I love you so much. He can't even say it back to her. I think he's just, I think he just thinks she's totally gone off the deep end. Let's throw it in. How about you get out of the house if you're gonna burst into flames? How about you just leave the house because you'll just start a fire in the house. Or that's not even gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen. I need to call the police. Oh no, Steve! Oh, that's... Oh no, oh no, oh no, what just happened to her? Oh no. Oh, it's nighttime, all of a sudden it's night. Oh my god, she just killed her husband, but with... didn't mean to. Jesus Christ. Oh, Peter, oh Peter, you don't want to wake up, bro. It's, trust me, the the, per the figure, Paimon or whatever, needed a male form, and now they have Steven. Can we leave Peter alone? Oh no, who's watching him? Is mom watching him? Oh no, she's in there, that's great. That's great. Where's the dog? Huh? Where's the dog? Oh, Peter, just go back to bed. It's so much easier if you just go back to bed. Who's in the corner? Oh, he went to bed with sneakers on. Jesus. Yeah, I love how I'm still horrified by the fact that he fell asleep with sneakers on in his bed. Oh, no, 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 no. It's gonna be a jump scare in the window. I, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I, I don't claim this energy. I don't claim it. I don't claim the energy. Please, I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, it's too quiet. <laughs> ah! I couldn't look, I couldn't look, I couldn't look. What was it? I couldn't look, I couldn't look. No, 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 no! 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 I couldn't look, I can't! It's, I can't, bad headphones on! I can't! I can't! I can't! No! 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 No, I can't stop screaming because the screaming makes it easier to swallow this pill that I don't want. Please, just just leave me alone. Please, I can't, I can't be quiet. Okay, it's fine, Natalie, you have a sleeping Pomeranian next to you. You can do this. No, no, a loud bang, that's great. No, is he gonna be led to the attic? I don't like this. Peter, leave. Peter, just leave. Peter, just leave. Peter, just go. Hello? Just please stop, leave the house. Peter, get out of here. No, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. No, I hate the sound team. I hate the director. Ari, I hate you. I'm sorry guys, I actually can't watch this in silence because I'm, I'll die. I want to turn this off so badly. Talking is the only thing that's helping me survive. Oh God, is it his dad? Oh God. Oh, it's his dad. There's his dad. There's dad. What's going on with his hand? It's just up like that. <gasps> mom. There's mom. Is mom ready to kill Peter? What's happening? I can't look at that. Please. Uh, oh, Peter's about to die. Oh God. Mom. Yep. Yeah. Mom, what you doing? How is she? Is she holding on to the beam up there? Like what the f she all of a sudden she can do parkour? I don't want this. Oh. Oh no, that's... What? It's a naked man. Wait, that's the smiling man. Ah! We saw him. Mom's gone. No. Where's the jump? Peter, run! Run! Peter, run! Oh no, that's the worst place you could go, Peter. Grandma though, grandma's up there. Grandma's up there. Oh, f oh, f you really should have just left the house. No, no. Who that was that naked smiling guy we saw him earlier in the movie? Oh no, don't turn around, Peter. I hate, I hate this for you. I have I'm pulling off my other headphone now. I can't do this. I can't stay here in this world. I don't like it. I don't like it. No, he's gonna see the body. Yep, you're gonna see the body. Yeah, 
It is just a nightmare. You are living in a nightmare, Peter. Oh no. How about you blow out all the candles? I don't know if that will make things better or worse, to be honest. Because I'm not a medium. Oh, yep, there's the... Uh-huh. Grandma's shadow. Oh, Peter's eyes. Gouged out. Lovely. I know, Peter. I know, Peter. You've just had a day. You've had a really bad day, and you deserve... You deserve a break. Wake up, wake up. It's not a dream. I wish it was too. Oh, f who's behind him? No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. No, I don't want to see it. Please, it was on the ceiling. I don't want to know. Just tell me without showing me. No, what is that? I don't like hearing noises like that. Oh God. Sh oh, she's mom. Huh? Oh no, is that how he went out? I don't blame him, oh my god. Oh, what's that shadow passing over him? Oh, it's a ghost, it's a little orb. Look at that, would you look at that? It's about to inhabit his body. It's so nice. Who are all those naked people? Are they a part of the cult? Oh, is this King Paimon now? Or the devil, or whatever? You're gonna smile now? You're gonna smile, aren't you? Oh God, I thought the movie was really gonna end. It's really not ending. It's just not ending, huh? Oh, Charlie? The dog? No, why? Why did the dog have to die like that? Why? No. I'm sorry, what? Why are they all naked? Why are there naked people here? How come Tony Collette could float and he can't? What's happening? Oh. We're on all fours. Man, this, this director really likes exploring like cults, huh? Cult-like subjects. Oh, is that who Charlie was trying to build all this time? The king? That's what the symbol stands for. Queen Lee, oh, she was a queen. Oh, we're gonna take the crown, put it on his head, huh? Is that what we're doing? Is it Joan? I bet it's Joan. Charlie. Oh, this is, Char oh, it's Charlie. That's why the tongue clicking. Okay, okay. You are Paimon. Charlie is Paimon? We reject the Trinity and pray devoutly to you, great Paimon. Why are y'all praying to one of the kings of hell? What's wrong with you people? Hail Paimon! Hail Paimon! Hail Paimon! Hail! Oh, we're in a little dollhouse now. Why are we ruining the song for me? I love the song, why? Why, Ari? Why, Ari, why? I remember feeling um, a similar way when I watched Midsommar. However, um, this was definitely a lot worse, like a lot scarier, a lot worse. Although I, I feel like I do see a similar um, style and a lot of repeating themes between this and Midsommar. Um, and it makes sense to me that they're done by the same director even with like the worshiping and indoctrination of a person into a cult, a satanic-like group, seems to be a theme that this director enjoys exploring. And it makes sense because he wrote these scripts as well. And they do have a lot of similarities. Although this was uh, just far more disturbing, probably just because it, I think it was more gruesome and dealt with a lot more grief than Midsommar does. I mean, there's so much talk of grief and loss in this movie. And even that scene with Toni Collette, uh, her character Annie, grieving the loss of her daughter. I mean, it was just so horrific in the most realistic way. Cause it's something that unfortunately a lot of people have had to go through. And it's like the ultimate fear of any parent and the, the absolute worst thing that anyone could really go through is losing a, a child in a traumatic way like that. It's just awful. And I don't know how you'd ever really come back from that. Um, and so that whole scene with her just basically rocking back and forth, almost in a fetal position on the floor, just grieving was so unsettling and sad at the same time. I mean, th this movie, it went there, man. It really did go there. Like, what the heck? I was not prepared. I, I was prepared for it to be messed up and creepy and jump scary and spooky, but I wasn't, 
I wasn't prepared for that level of mourning and devastation that also came along with it. The cast really did do a fantastic job. Every single one of them and in, in, in the family really just uh, did fantastic. I knew Tony Collette would blow me away, but I mean, I was not expecting Millie Shapiro to do such a great job. I really felt like she did fantastic. Alex Wolf as well, and Gabriel Byrne as well did phenomenally. When he was sitting there silently, taking in Tony Collette's panicked monologue towards the end when she's begging him to burn the book. He's just totally lost all love for his wife in that moment and he can't deal everything she's put him through and the madness of everything that's going on. He can't deal with it anymore. And he really does a great job of demonstrating that through body language only and no dialogue in that moment. You can just see him being completely fed up and in disbelief of everything she's saying. <laughs> the whole cast did a phenomenal job. Alex Wolf, he really started off this movie as like this unassuming, laid back, chill teenager. And then he just had such a downfall and a mountain of like torturous scenes to go through. And he really just rode the whole wave of everything. Um, he, he went through so much torture and torment. Yeah, I, oh, I'm having a hard time really processing everything that happened. I, I truly feel like I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. There were a lot of things in this movie that um, are not going to sit well with me over the course of the next week, at least. I've actually slept walk a lot in my life, and I don't sleepwalk anymore, but just even that element of Annie sleepwalking and doing dangerous things in her sleep and not being aware of it. I mean, I've almost walked out of hotel rooms uh, in my sleep, I've almost left like my college dorm room a couple times to go sleepwalking. If I didn't have like a roommate there or my mom there or someone with me in the hotel to wake me up, I would have walked out into the night sleepwalking. So <laughs> luckily I don't do that anymore, but that definitely freaked me out a lot. Seeing this character explain all of the horrible sleepwalking accidents that she's had, even the dreaming of like ants crawling over your bed. I've woken up in the middle of the night and had really vivid dreams uh, where you're half awake and you feel like you're seeing bugs crawling on the bed. I've had things like that happen. So this this just, it's, it's a special kind of messed up, you know? I think Midsommar didn't scare me as much because I'm not gonna go on a trip to the mountains of Sweden or Switzerland or wherever they were in that movie and, you know, wear white and go to a festival. I'm 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 not there doing that right now. But this this is a little bit more um grounded in reality to a certain extent. I mean, I don't think many people have families that are this tortured, but it is it, it's kind of in line with something like the Haunting of Hill House. It deals a lot with grief and repression and familial issues and and not learning how to deal with mental health and talk about things in families. So in that way, it feels very realistic. And a lot of the struggles that the characters are going through are very realistic. And so in that way, I do feel like I am going to have nightmares about this for a long time. Also, just because, you know, everybody who worked on the movie um, clearly did a great job. And I'm mad about that. <laughs> Sound design was brilliant and I was pissed the whole time that it was so good because man, it really messed me up. The score was awful and brilliant and horrific in every way. Silence was utilized perfectly. The editing was great. I loved and hated the cinematography. There was so much smart panning in some moments and quick panning in others, slow, slow movement and the right moments that you needed to. Like the director definitely liked doing a lot of these slow moving in a circle shots and you would see something move in the background or a jump scare would come right at that time. And sometimes you knew when it was gonna happen and other times it, it didn't. So it really kept me on the edge of my seat. I also just really loved how often we zoomed out on the family to the point where we're seeing them in such a wide angle that the room looks small and they look really small inside of it. So it parallels these doll houses and doll figurines that Annie has been making her whole life. There's a lot of symbolism there that I I don't think I'm able to fully unpack at this point in time after just having watched this movie, but I really liked that touch. I think that's all I have to say for this one. I'm, I'm pretty shaken up right now and um, I need a hug. So <laughs> I'm gonna go get a hug from Tyler and try to pretend like I didn't just watch this. It, it was, incredible. I mean, everyone did a fantastic job. 
I am just not good with horror and it was particularly horrific. The ending itself, like that whole sequence with Peter waking up and it just being silent and you not knowing what he's gonna wake up to. And it's just silent. It felt like it was silent for 10 minutes. It was probably one or two minutes, but it felt like 10 and it was awful and so well executed and um, I'm, I'm good. I don't think I ever need to watch it again. There are some horror movies that we watch here on my channel that I'm fine with watching again. Like I think I could watch A Quiet Place again even though it would destroy me and make me cry. I think I could watch Alien again even though it really messes me up. I've said over and over again, The Thing is something I can never watch again. I don't think I can ever watch that movie again. It messed me up, I hated it, it was great and it was brilliant and awful. This is kind of in line with that for me. Um, completely different in terms of why I think this is brilliant. I think the thing was brilliant. Just the concept of uncertainty in that movie was what made it so brilliant as well as the practical effects with this. How realistically horrific this story is. How I could relate to it in so many ways and the mental health themes that we explored feeling so real along with the brilliant sound design, editing, and cinematography, and acting. Like, truly, everything about this movie was just so well done, and I'm mad about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't think I can ever watch this one again, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching it with me. I hope your ears are not bleeding. Sorry, headphone users. And with all that being said, I think I'm ready to just put this one away, be done with it, Never watch it again. But I'm definitely curious to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below on this one. I feel like y'all will always remind me of moments that I saw but didn't pick up on things the first time watching. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on this one. I will probably have an easier time reading them than re-watching the movie. <laughs> if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know it doesn't mean I'll ever watch anything like this ever again. But I will appreciate it. It will make me feel good if you give this video a thumbs up so that I know it wasn't in vain. Subscribe if you want to. And until the next one, stay golden. Bye.